Good morning, y'all. September the 9th. It's time to get to work. I've got a turntable full of deer. I've already put one on a plaque, if I can find him, right here. Put him on a plaque this morning. And we've also got a wall full of bucks right here, too. So today's plan is, I've already got these deer epoxied. Did not do this today. I did it before I went on vacation. So I'm going to get all of these deer painted up. We're going to get all of these deer moved on to the turntable and I'm going to try to get these epoxied. If I can get all these finished up today and uh, get them moved, then I'm going to go ahead and try to get these epoxied today. Don't know that I'll get them painted until tomorrow, but that's going to be today's plan anyway. So we're going to start this Monday out right. We're going to try to get some deer finished and get them out of this shop, out of my way, out of my life. I've still got about 35 or 40 left that's got to be done if at all possible, by the end of October, I would love to be finished. So anyway, let's get this thing going. Something I am going to have to do today is replace my needle and my nozzle on my airbrush. Uh, the needle has gotten slightly bent on the end of it a couple times. I've straightened it out, but it's just not wanting to cooperate. So I bought both. Got them at Hobby Lobby. The uh, nozzle was $17.99. It's 18 bucks. The needle was $9.00. They are just slightly cheaper on Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link down below uh, for these things on this video. And also, I'm going to try to remember to put them into my Amazon store. If y'all have not looked at that yet, the Amazon has let me now build a store. It's called an influencer store where I've got all of my items that I've ever put links for. I can put them all in that one store. And y'all can click on that and just go in there and just shop the entire thing. I've got it broken down into categories. Y'all click on each category and it'll have all the items in there with links straight to that item. It doesn't cost y'all any more to use those links. It's just a really fast way for y'all to reference what it is that I'm using when I'm talking about it. Y'all just go and buy exactly what it is that I'm buying. All right, Tuesday, September the 10th, running about a half a day behind a day because yesterday I was planning on getting this thing empty and I ran out of triple thick uh, Krylon. That's what I use on the, the noses. Krylon glaze, and I had to run to Lowe's to go and get some. But I did get all those deer finished up today, got all the hangers on them and everything else. And I'm gonna show y'all right quick why it is that I charge full price when you drop off a deer head. Let's see here. See these, those two up there, I've got one there in this room. You can see all these heads in here. I even finished my own deer head. <laughs> uh, but all these heads were paid in full and I'm waiting on people to pick them up. You can imagine how long it would take to get rid of all these deer heads if all I took was either a minimum deposit or no deposit at all. Uh, if you just add up all these things, I mean, you're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars and you wouldn't have the money to even mount the deer that you still got left in your shop. So that's why I do that. But I'm about to run up here, it's about 11 o'clock. I'm about to run up here to the house and get me some lunch. And what I'm gonna do is what I was planning on doing yesterday. I'm gonna get all these deer out here put on my turntable and I'm gonna start doing some epoxy work. I'm gonna see if I can't get these deer epoxy by this evening and uh, maybe plan to paint them uh, tomorrow. See if we can't get all of them finished up and then we can start on another batch of hides getting them tanned. Well, it's getting to be about five o'clock, so I'm about to go up to the house and start getting ready to eat me some supper, get me a shower. Day's gone pretty good. I've actually gotten all of these deer epoxied aside from the nose work on them. Y'all look at this giant. This is a huge buck. He goes in the, in the upper, I think he's in the upper 170s and uh, he is an Alabama deer. It's another really nice deer from here locally, not too far down the road. Another really, really good deer. But uh, I'm gonna come down here in the morning and get the uh, nose work done on them and go ahead and get them painted. Might do a little bit of scouting tomorrow. So depending on if I go in the morning or in the evening, I might be working tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. But anyway, we will pick up where we left off tomorrow. Happy Wednesday morning, y'all. Today's September the 11th. Today, I've got to finish up the noses on these deer, get them epoxy, get the texture put in them, and uh, let that epoxy dry overnight, let it cure. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna to paint up all of these deer, 
I've got to still do some ear work. I've got some major ear repair I've got to do on a few of these and uh, get these things finished up, hopefully tomorrow. So today, what I'm gonna do, once I get done with these noses, I'm about to go with Pablo Esquivel. We're gonna go and we're gonna do some public land scouting by kayak. I've never done that before. And uh, he has wanted me to for about a year now. So I've loaded up the kayak in the back of the truck. Y'all check out this beautiful piece of equipment. Look at there. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah about that. Kind of excited. And then if I just feel like it, I may come down here and work a little bit this evening, but I don't think that's going to be the case. So tomorrow I'll probably come down here and spend the whole day doing a little bit of work. And I may even work a little bit on Saturday. I've had several customers come pick deer heads up, had a few phone calls. And I've had a few more deer brought to me this week too. So it has got me just slightly behind where I was wanting to be at this point. A good Saturday will always make up for that if necessary. I don't mind it as long as it's not deer season. So y'all stay tuned and uh, we're gonna go do a little bit of scout. Well, me and Pablo made it out here on our scouting adventure. <laughs> he like flipped his kayak over when his trolling motor spun around backwards and took off without him. <laughs> but there is a gigantic, I don't know if you can see him right here. There's a gigantic That's one of the biggest moccasin. Ones. Yeah, huge water moccasin right there. He just went up in that hole right there, but I got another video of him I'll post and I'll show y'all what he looks like. That's a big hot mouth. This is my this is my first time to ever be scouting by boat and by water. <laughs> and as much fun as I'm having, this is definitely a different experience from what I'm used to. A lot muddier, but it's also a whole lot less walking. We done gone. What we gone now? Probably two, three miles by water. About two and a half miles? Yeah, that ain't too bad. Pablo's got his trolling motor. I have to pedal, so I'm at a huge disadvantage. He likes to take advantage of me. Yeah, we're gonna do a beaver yeah, been chewing on that one. Well, as good as this crossing is up here, I'm hoping that, yeah, that maybe there's some good sign around it. Yeah, y'all check this out. Great from last year. Right there. That's a beaver. Little beaver, yeah. yeah. Beaver been shit on that one. It might have been rubbed in the past. Yeah. It's a good rub right here. Oh, here's another one right here, another old one, but that's a good sized tree. Maybe we have found a direction. There's one there, another one right there, another big one right there, another one right here. Yep, another one right there. This one will bite that away too. This is, this is a good area though. Yeah, no doubt. They're definitely traveling through here, at least, at least some have before. Yeah. <laughs> you don't hear any more, but. Like well, I mean, it's, it's September. It's not going to be any in here well, fresh, in the really. High season. Yeah, it's hard to tell. These trees heal up so fast, man, you can't, you can't hardly go by that even. Sometimes they look like they're 10 years old, be a year old. Nasty wasp nest. Nasty, nasty. Let me just get that feeling that before the day's over, you're gonna run into something you wish you hadn't. 
But we're looking, we're trying to keep our eyes open. Huh? What's that? Alligator slide? Yeah, not alligator slide. See his tail and his feet? Oh, yeah. I mean, everywhere. Well, that's, that was definitely a den over there that you found a minute ago. Nothing like wading around in knee-deep water looking for alligators. <laughs> At least you got your paddle in case you need to defend yourself. <laughs> I don't think it's going to do a lot, but, I mean, it might. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just get out of here. This is about the fourth or fifth place that we've stopped. And we finally found some pretty good sign in here. I uh, got some pretty regular rubs, older rubs, but a heck of a dang trail. Y'all look at that trail right there. See it going right through there? Camera just does not do this justice. There's rubs all along this thing. It was just dirt. Going down through there. Another rub right there. That little tree. What'd you find up here? Oh, there you go. Yeah. These are all rubs, but there's a This is a yeah, this is a good spot. I finally found something kind of relevant along with a whole bunch of greenbrier that's been browsed off in here. Pablo's gonna be really excited when he sees this. Check that out. That is fresh. And that's a pretty good sized tree. Fresh, fresh. This was one of his favorite spots, so. Hey, Pablo. Come here. He's gonna be he's gonna be stoked. This whole place. They've been eating every green briar in here has been chewed off. What you got? Oh boy. God almighty. Yeah, man, that's a good one. That's really good. Yeah, that's actually fresh. Yes, definitely. I mean, if you talk about a picket, look at this. Yeah. There's some areas we just cannot even go through. I know that's so thick, man. I don't, I don't think a deer would want to go in it. Unless he just had to. I yeah. bet they bed right here along the edge of it, all these blowdowns. Yeah. It is thick in here. And then the browsing right here is just unreal. I know. Yeah, you know, all of this green briar, there's green briar all in through here. And every bit of it is just chewed off. Man, that's a good one. Good hide too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He's old fat boy. Now he's gonna come out here and get in my kayak with me. <laughs> it's pretty going through that water, ain't it? Oh, the, yeah, the one we saw earlier was way bigger than that. Pretty cool though. Yeah. When they're not latched onto your leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. She won no business with us, just like we don't want no business yep. with her. Yes. <laughs> Talk about a bad morning. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah, that would make for a bad afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, get a little bit too close. 
tempting fate here. Oh, we just come up on water moccasin number three for the day. Starting to get kind of used to this. Not as big as the first one, but a little bit bigger than the second one. Yeah, Just sitting there chilling, wondering why we're not leaving. <laughs> so Thursday the 12th is here. Hope y'all enjoyed the little bit of scouting that we did. It was a whole lot of snakes that we saw, but I did find a little bit of sign. Getting excited about deer season to open here in Alabama. What we'll do today, we've got these deer heads. They're epoxied, ready to paint. I'm going to paint them before the day is up today, get that done. And I've got this pack mount that is just about finished. Uh, this morning, Christy stitched me up a bag a couple of days ago and uh, got that sucker oiled up or waxed up so that it looks like oil cloth. I've got to put that bag on that pack mount. So we're going to get that fixed up. And I think that's probably all we'll have time to do today. If I've got if I've got a little extra time, I may go ahead and make a batch of uh, pickle. I gotta get 15 more cakes going here by the end of the week. By, by tomorrow, I'll probably work a little bit Saturday and uh, Monday and Tuesday, see if I can't get 15 more cakes ready for the pickle and ready to start tanning because we've got some we've got some forms in. Got several forms laying around in here for some more deer heads. So got a few more deer coming this week too. That's gonna be here from last season. And now that Kentucky season is open, uh, we've got this right here left from between last season. And I've had probably 15 or 20 brought to me since July, August, something like that. Uh, that's the name of the game. So you just got to stay busy, stay at it. And hey, if you got to go scouting or fishing or hunting or whatever, even if it's during the middle of the week on a Wednesday, try to make that happen and try to go do it because... Most of it is right in here. Most of trying to run a business, most of trying to stay motivated is keeping your mind right. Keeping your mind right, keeping your, your thought process right, keeping your stress down, your blood pressure down, and that makes your motivation go up. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get started on this, and we will holler back at y'all. Oh, before I get off here, we have got, so I've got something really cool i got to show y'all. I had some gunslings made uh, by a good friend of mine who, is kind of famous in the leather gunsling industry. So I'll be making a video on that here before probably the end of the week. I'm gonna to try to do that maybe by this weekend, we'll see. And uh, let y'all know about that. Those that stuff's going to be available for sale. And I'm trying to finish up my book too. So maybe eventually that'll be finished. We're gonna to try to get it done before October. But anyway, we will holler at y'all here in a little bit. All right, so the second that I hit stop on my phone when I was videoing. I turned around and got the pack mount off the wall. I was walking across the room and the pack frame hit one of the poles on my uh, turntable and the rack on that buck come back and the tip of his main beam stuck into the side of my eyelid. And I'm talking about like, like you see like, like I, I was, I had blood run down the side of my face really close to catching me in the eye. That would have been horrible. But this is one of those things that you just don't see in taxidermy school. <laughs> and when I, when I said I was gonna do the, the good, the bad, and the ugly, well, here we go. I mean, this is, this is real life. This is what the Cedar Ridge Chronicle is all about, what you gotta deal with, even when you work for yourself. I gotta work with comp. I just gotta have galls and a Band-Aid. But I'm gonna get myself patched up and we're gonna try to go to work again. Let's try to redo this. <laughs> okay, so I got my eye patched up. Got the bag on the pack mount that about took my eye out. It's not even that sharp either. That sucker friggin' hurt. I've got the deer ready to paint. So now I'm gonna paint. One thing about painting if you're using an airbrush, it's making sure that you maintain your airbrush, keeping it nice and clean, which I tend to neglect 
until I need to use it. And then I have to go back and clean it. Usually by the time I get done painting, I'm ready for a shower and some supper. So most of the time I'm cleaning on the day that I need to be painting, which is fun. I mean, if you don't keep it clean, it's not going to work properly. You're going to think that there's something wrong with your airbrush. But even a cheap airbrush works pretty good if it's maintained properly. You make sure it's good and clean. You want to make sure that the uh, valve in it is old. See my fingers. It's like junk coming off of that, which is just paint. But you don't want that trying to feed through your airbrush. All I use on here is just regular old rubbing alcohol. It takes it right off. See there? Good as new. They make some different airbrush cleaners, and honestly, I've never used them before. Um, don't know why you would do that instead of alcohol. There might be a very good reason. If any of y'all know that, Comment down below and let me know why, because I don't, I've just never paid for that stuff. It's, it's a lot more expensive than alcohol is. And so far, I mean, over the last, I don't know, five or six years, I've never had any trouble with any of my rubber rings or little gaskets or anything getting messed up. So, so far I can't tell that it makes any difference. I like to go with a, if it's not broke, don't fix it approach. All right, I got that nice and clean. Now let's see if we can't paint it here. Happy Friday, y'all. It's finally here, almost the weekend. Of course, I may have to work a little bit tomorrow, but at least it's Saturday, so the rest of y'all don't have to. What I did today, I went ahead and emptied my rack. It's always a great feeling to have my turntable completely empty and to have my wall completely empty. Everything in here is done. I've got these deer up here. Show y'all around a little bit. Got these deer right here finished. Scarface right there. Busted tine, a busted beam. Some boys been fighting. It's real pretty. Nine point finished up. Got a room full of them in here. That old big guy done. Got them stacked in here. Also had the last three skull mounts that I promised a customer that I would do. I'm not doing skull mounts ever again. They, these are my last three. Got them cleaned up today. They're sitting over here drying, uh, getting ready for some bleach or some peroxide. Don't, don't use bleach. Uh, <laughs> also cleaned out my pickle tank. I'll give you all a little bit of a tip on my tank here. Uh, Y'all can see I did not fill this thing completely up with water. I have got, it's a, it's a hundred gallon tank and I use 75 gallons of water. I do 15 capes at a time in this pickle. And what I like to do, you've got to use a, a pound of salt per gallon of water. So I'll, I'll put 75 pounds of salt in there and uh, just fill it up with enough water to cover the salt real well. Go ahead and put my acid in there and I'll stir that. And let it sit over the weekend. Let that salt dissolve. Stir it Saturday, stir it Sunday. And then Monday, check it and, and with a little bit of water at the bottom, you can still see the salt if there's any that's not uh, dissolved. You wanna make sure that you dissolve all that salt because if you don't, that stuff will sit in there for like a month and just stay caked up at the bottom and you won't have the salinity that you need in your pickle, which is very important to keep your hair from falling out. Do not want that to happen. So what I'll do is I'll just put enough water in there to where I can still see the bottom of that tub and the salt and uh, just keep on stirring that until all that gets dissolved and then I'll fill it on up all these 100 gallon Rubbermaid tanks, there's a line right here. See that? See where this little piece sticks out? If you fill it up to that line right there, it is right at 75 gallons. So that works out really good as a, a quick measuring tool if y'all ever decide to try that. And you don't have to put 15 capes in there at a time. You can make that much pickle and put one cape in there if you want to, but uh, it's, enough, it's enough pickle to where you can keep it stirred up and uh, it actually lasts a long time. I usually do 30 capes in there. I'll, I'll reuse the pickle once before I clean it out and uh, make another one. You just want to make sure you check that pH. So y'all, this was kind of fun. Uh, just going through, you know, what I'm doing every single day. I'll try it to get me a tripod down here next time. 
and maybe do a little bit more video of kind of what I'm doing. Although, you know, I've got so many videos on how to do everything that I don't want to just walk out through the same thing over and over and over and over. But I think it would be more beneficial for y'all to know kind of the entire process and procedure. And, you know, y'all may just be curious as to what it is I do every day. <laughs> so anyway, this is going to wrap this work week up. And uh, unless I work tomorrow, I may video that. If not, then I will see y'all back here uh, next week. I'll probably, what I'll probably do is video these, this series, probably a Monday through Friday thing. I'll probably try to release that sometime between Friday evening and Sunday night uh, weekly, as long as I can, you know, keep up with that. Help stays good. Everything stays good. Deer season is here, so it's almost time to go get in a tree. We will see y'all next week.